Hello and welcome to this special edition of Jackie Robinson and the Montreal Royals 1946 season in review. The week prior to opening day was pretty quiet, especially because the Royals had cancelled games they were supposed to play while on their way from Florida to New York. So this video will be all about the historic game played at Roosevelt Stadium in Jersey City on April 18th, 1946, when Jackie became the first African American to play in the league affiliated with the major leagues in the 20th century. And what a game it was! The Royals were taking on the Jersey City Giants, farm team of the New York Giants. Jackie played second base and hit second, so he went to the plate in the top of the first inning, with his wife Rachel pacing up and down the aisles of the stadium, too nervous to sit down. He got a polite reception from the crowd as he entered the batter's box. He looked at the first five pitches thrown by Giants pitcher Warren Sandell. On the sixth pitch, he hit a weak grounder to short. Robinson came back to the plate in the third inning with two men on. The defense expected a bunt. Instead, he clubbed the pitch 335 feet from home plate over the wall and left. His teammate George Shuba shook his hand as he crossed the plate, a moment that was immortalized by photographers. Shuba declared later there was never a question in his mind whether or not he'd shake Robinson's hand, but it was anything but insignificant. No one, especially not Robinson, knew how his teammate would act if something like that happened. And had he been snubbed by his teammates on the first day of the season, it would have made a difficult situation even worse for Jackie. It was 6 nothing in the fifth when Robinson had his third at bat. He bunted for his second hit of the game. He then easily stole second before moving to third on a ground out. He then started to dance off third base, sprinting, then stopping. And he did it so well that Giants reliever Phil Oates balked. A second run scored for the Royals rookie, 7 nothing Montreal. The crowd, kind of tepid early on, really took to Robinson's antics on the base paths and really started to cheer him loudly about mid-game. It's worth mentioning that both black fans, there were plenty of them, and white fans were cheering him on at this point. Robinson committed an error in the fifth, an errant throw while trying to complete a double play. It was the only blemish on an otherwise perfect day for him. In the seventh, he hit a solid single to right for his fourth RBI of the game. He then stole second and scored on the John Jorgensen triple. In his fifth at bat, the Royal second baseman got his second bunt hit of the game, his fourth in total. He then proceeded to wow the crowd with his speed again. He went first to third on an infield hit, and then he started sprinting and stopping once more, and the Giants pitcher balked again. He scored the Royals 13 points en route to a 14-1 dismantling of the Giants. Robinson's line was nothing short of amazing. 4 for 5, a home run, 3 singles, 4 runs scored, 4 driven in, 2 steals, and 1 error. Not many fans stuck around until the end, but it seemed like they all jumped on the field after the game to congratulate the man of the hour, who almost lost his uni to the adoring crowd. In the locker room after the game, Robinson said he was moved by the support he got from his teammates. He also said that the Giants didn't insult him and that their pitchers did not try to bean him. We'll never know how many people attended that historic game. The Giants organization announced they had sold 51,872 tickets. The capacity of the stadium, however, was around 25,000. What we do know is that the part of the gate receipt given to the visiting team was $10,000, a pretty big amount for 1946. Normally it would have been enough to cover the cost of spring training, a normal spring training in those days would set teams back seven or $8,000, but with the overabundance of players at the 46 camp, the total tab was $25,000. So that wraps up Jackie Robinson's historic first game with the Royals. The next video will deal with Jackie's first road trip, as he had to deal with an hostile crowd in Baltimore and a quasi-player strike in Syracuse. You don't want to miss that. In the meantime, follow us on Twitter and see you next time.